Good day guys, it's Jordan now. My name is Lord Tomer and we have the little blister here, good old Sonic the Hedgehog. Seems to be having a piece of paper of sorts. Maybe he wants to steal the spotlight. No Sonic, no. Anyway guys, we'll get straight into the review from the sounds of it and from the rocks of it. I think this probably review is going to be one of my longest. I'm hoping not because I don't want to waste too much of your time, but obviously if time elapse, not my fault, you're here to watch the Sonic item. So as you can probably already tell, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog statue, or it's more commonly referred to as a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 12 inch collectible statue, which is labeled at the top. It is from a company, which I have made mention numerous times, first for figures, that's their logo, I'll put it up there. So more or less this company is, if you watch my previous reviews and whatnot, I do speak highly of them, they do make some superb statues and I've yet to actually see a statue that I highly dislike so speaking of which um, obviously this is just a remarkable statue within itself any Sonic collector that wants to spend a little more money than obviously the original what Jazzware item here and there would probably want to pick this up because it is definitely a catch there's other ones that they do make I figured now would be the great time to start reviewing them and whatnot so let's get straight into it already <coughs> But I mean, already you have the chicken marks there. Very ominous to the uh, original game, Sonic the Hedgehog, which is also awesome. You just have a picture of the actual character itself, Sonic the Hedgehog, doing his classic pose, classic pose, sorry. And you have obviously the actual grassy effect there. Switch it around there, you have obviously just uh, another angle picture of the statue itself, same deal. Hominous, uh, hominous parks, or hominous. Very um, ominous to the actual background and whatnot and obviously you have the title there still the same if we flip, flip it around you have just a general description I've tried this a numerous time but basically it's more or less telling you thank you for well, what it says first for figure is proud to present a new collection of models based on the classic Sonic the Hedgehog line starring with our 12 inch Sonic the Hedgehog statue this is from the original Sonic the Hedgehog line that they did make the first statue that they made they did make other ones Supersonic, Metal Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Modern Sonic, etc, etc. They have released, for this one anyway, 1,500 worldwide, meaning there's nothing more, nothing less, which is pretty impressive with this. So I was lucky enough to pick, it, lucky enough to pick one up, and it's 1,196. That's the one I have, which is, you know, it's alright. It's pretty decent. I'm not going to complain about that. And if you move it to the side, you just have more pictures of obviously how Sonic the Hedgehog looks. At the very bottom, just absolutely darkness, and at the very top is obviously what it is. Uh, let's put him aside there. So yeah, it's definitely a nice pickup. Now I will definitely open this up. I'm just going to showcase this a little more because you know that's what I do. Now just to give you a little back history behind this. This was initially released, if I'm not mistaken, 2020, no, 2010. I think that was the case, yeah, 2010. I can't say with 100% but I'm pretty sure it's 2010. Could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, by all means. Now, I picked my one, I never knew about these statue collections, and I picked my one up from um, Monaco Comic Store, which I buy my comics. So when I picked that up, I checked the website, and I was like, oh sweet, they're going to make more. Better start pre-ordering. So anyway, guys, let's get straight into opening this, because that's what we all were here to see. Okay. This is going to be... It's gonna get there slowly, guys. Slowly. Give me time. Okay. In the box, there's absolutely nothing in there. Which you can probably, well, as I can show you, there's nothing in there, which is, you know, decent enough. And um, as you can already tell, it is pretty much in this very well protected case. Later iteration of this figurine, just before I, I start opening this up came in an external box as well to hold and protect the internal box and <laughs> internal box obviously protects the insides of it so let's see now before we also open this again there was an actual um, 
I like to refer to as an authentication card, which is this little card over here, which is you know decent enough, which is pretty awesome. Basically, this is more or less to authenticate that you have one of the ones within timeline of oh, not timeline the release date. So you can actually go to their website firstforfigures.com. It's a US website, I, I think. It's, well, I think it is. The YouTube channel se seems to suggest otherwise, like a UK. But anyway, that's that. So yeah, you get a unique. You go to there, you authenticate. It basically, more or less, adds the verity, I suppose. And at the very um, back, you just have more description of what it is. Pretty nice little thing. It actually was placed, if I'm not mistaken, here. Was it placed there? I'm pretty sure it was. No, it was placed here. Placed right up there. Held by sticky tape, which is awesome. So we're going to put this aside for now and get into the opening. Okay. And just before I touch up on the item once again, this is just obviously the yeah, obviously Sonic and you have both of these. Not necessarily needed for any collector's purposes, but it's there. So that's that. So I'll put this guy aside. Okay. Now I'm going to take him out, but I'm just going to show you how it's meant to look like. So this is how it's meant to more or less look like initially when the first time more or less comes out, which is pretty impressive. Tell by some cellophane basically to obviously you know, hold its rarity and whatnot. <coughs> okay. Now I'm going to be careful with this. And see if I can take him out with uh now with these statues it is extremely important to be as careful as possible because these things they look sturdy as a rock but they're pretty tight. Okay. Give me some time guys, I'll, I'll eventually get him out. Eventually. Big, big eventually. Okay, Woo. I, was a bit, I was a bit scared. Now I'll see it's held by a little foamy thing just by the protection. And this is the actual figurine itself, if I can get a good view. Already impressive detail. It is well sculpted beyond all imaginable service and I'm just like, when I picked this up, when I first saw it, I was just like, the awesome meal. I was like, oh my god, this is impressive. Now, you can check it out on the website, unfortunately they are sold out, they have been sold out for a while, so it will be hard to pick it up. Websites such as eBay, Amazon would probably pick it up, more or less, if you want to more or less pick it up. But we'll talk a little more or less about it. So that's the overall sculpt of it. It's very adorable, very cute, I will spin around. Now the actual base itself has no definite gimmick. This later iterations of Sonic, they've released like normal versions and exclusive versions and whatnot as time passes I will obviously show you those exceptionally well detailed I'll see if I can get a good view there there we go well detailed beyond all imaginations if we lift this puppy up just a bit you have his tail his his back his his actual shoes are well sculpted as well and yeah so it captures it in any, every essence that you could possibly imagine of the original Sonic the Hedgehog, which is superb. Obviously, I had it in its box so I can showcase the opening and whatnot, but this is obviously the overall design, which is exceptionally impressive. Now, also, just to know that you obviously have the version you have, at the very base it also tells you, you know, the first for Vegas statue is produced and licensed. The statue is limited to 1,500 pieces worldwide, and is in can, well. And the statue is 1,196. So that's the one I have. And look, guys, beautiful, beautiful statue. 
Now, Rarity and all the fun stuff, I'm going to put this aside so we can showcase them both equally, probably. Uh, we, uh, if we can get it right. There we go. And we'll probably throw in the Kai there as well because, you know, that's obviously important. And there we go. So, as I mentioned, this was roughly released by all. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm oh, been a while though. 2010, so two years back ish, kind of, if you can say that. Released uh, via the website. I picked my one up via the comic store. So that's more or less how I found out about it. Rarity for this, oh, you'd be surprised. These things are skyrocketing so much, it's it's beyond imaginable. There have been like a released version of this, more or less a. Uh, uh, 20th anniversary commemorative statue which wasn't released to the public was released by promotion through our country and that's going up to like about a thousand this one I is modern I do see it you are looking at the ballpark figure now at roughly about 500 to 800 dollars depending on the setup depending on the condition and whatnot obviously if you're a true Sonic fan or, true, or a little I like to refer to as a higher TR Sonic fan in the sense that you have the little cash to burn definitely something to pick up it's definitely something to to obviously invest in well sculptured well detailed you, you can't go wrong with classic Sonic the Hedgehog even if you don't like modern Sonic so rarity look obviously back then is different to now so you are looking about I'll probably say maybe eight and a half stars out of ten as then it does pop up and it's obviously not as extremely rare there have been other alliterations not of this one but new ones that have been released you can check out their website I will definitely have to link it something I really highly recommend which will have an exclusive Sonic the Hedgehog which is not rare and obviously a metal Sonic the Hedgehog which is also not rare and they're recently releasing a Knuckles version, Tails version and also a modern Sonic the Hedgehog version or exclusive which I pre-ordered so when those come in I will definitely I have the Sonic, the Super Sonic and the Metal Sonic which I will review but to start off we obviously start off with the beginning so that's how much more or less. How much did I get for this piece? Um, obviously people want to know. I got this piece for I think $300 at the time. Yeah, thereabouts. Uh, $300 from the comic store, which is alright. Definitely something to pick up. And anyway, guys, I do hope you like this review and I do hope you do like this statue. And if you do, you can definitely check out their website. Something to t check out. You know, I have bought from them. They are pretty much legit. So it's definitely something worth tracking. And anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoy this. And anyway, guys, till next time. Peace out and peace on and speed on.